Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're on the trail of a Dot Martin film location. So we're here today, we're going to try and find the church that's featured in Dot Martin where they bury Aunt Joan, which is a sad event in the story. But let's have some fun trying to find the film location. It's actually filmed in a little cove called Gunwallow, Church Cove. It's called Church Cove because the church is right on the beach. It's absolutely beautiful, a little treasure in Cornwall. Gunwallow is a long way from Port Isaac. Port Isaac, just to give you a, an idea, Port Isaac is on the north coast of Cornwall and uh, Gunwallow is on the Lizard Peninsula. It's an hour and a half away, about 50 odd miles, so it is quite a trek from Port Isaac. So there's a large National Trust car park here at Gunwallow, which is excellent. So if you are on the trail of Dot Martin film location, particularly this one, it's advisable to park in this car park. £2 for two hours, £4 all day. Seems reasonable. Free for National Trust members. Welcome to Gunwallow. Here are two beautiful beaches surrounded by sand dunes, cliffs and reed beds alive with wildlife. Between the two coves, Castle Mound, site of a prehistoric settlement, shelters the church of St Winnelow. From the car park, head down towards the cove. Got to go round the farm. This is the farm near the car park. See the hay there, ready for the cattle to come in and feed. It is a working farm, so be prepared because the road is somewhat dirty. It's a late October day when we're doing this video, and the minute you get out of the car, you can just hear the waves crashing in. Such power and strength. It's the most amazing sound. We're just making our way up onto that grassy knoll. Hopefully that gives us a vantage point over the church to see the opening title sequence. There's the church car park. There's a little path that comes straight up behind the headstones up to where we're standing. I think it was on top of this grassy knoll. I think the tamarisk hedge was possibly cut back so you could see more of the gravestone. Yeah. The white sign and that, that obvious gravestone is in the right place. Church roof looks right, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, I think it's on this grassy knoll. And when you turn around, look at the view. So that's Dollar Cove, looking out towards Mounts Bay. A lot of the footage seems to take place just outside the gate of the church. So as they're waiting for the funeral cortege, they're stood about here. So Andrew must be stood on the spot where they film Martin Cleans. You've got to look dour. I think the tamarisk hedge has grown up in the background as well. Oh, good one, that's it, good stern. <laughs> So Aunt Ruth's blue Mercedes trundles down this road and it's the introduction to her character. And then Louisa and Ruth go into the church and meet for the first time. Such a gorgeous little church with a backdrop of the sea. If you follow the statue of St William Mollow off to the left, this is where the pool bearer comes to rest after hurting his back. Louisa comes out to make sure he's okay. Now, I have been inside this church and I don't think they use the interior for the funeral. The ends of the pews in this church are all ornate but in the filming, quite plain. So the floor is different. In the filming, it's got a mosaic. Here, it's just terracotta tiles. Also notice I don't see an organ. So that's definitely not the interior they used. It's completely different. I wonder where it is. I wonder which church they used. Does anybody know? We'll go and film it. <laughs> this is where they parked all their cars, just outside the church. What a gorgeous little church. It's quite a blustery day. Look at that beautiful sea coming in. So the plant surrounding the little church is tamarisk. It tolerates sea salt very, very well and grows quite tall, as you can see. So we can't get all of the shots. In one of the shots, the hotel is behind Dot Martin. 
I think we definitely found the film location for the outside filming of the funeral. From the beach, that's the church, surrounded by the hedge. Oh, what a beautiful setting. Oh, it's quite windy today, I don't know if you can hear me. There you go, hardly anybody on the beach. Whoa, nature's fireworks going off in the background. I think we're going to explore the beach and have a look. Doggies can't wait to get down and play in the waves. Man of war on the beach. Uh, see if we can find one. 